So let's do fraction first. So 2.5 into a fraction. So I have 2.5 here. I have 2.5. I know that this part here is the whole number part. So this is whole. And anything after the decimal here is the fraction part, right? Or the decimal part. And in this case here, it's in the tens digit, right? Because I know that, that this is in the first place of a decimal, so it's in the tens digit. So I can rewrite this as a mixed fraction. I can say it's two here as my the whole part, which is two. And then it would be um, the denominator here, and I'm writing the fraction now. Um, it would be uh, the denominator here is 10 for the tens digit in the decimal, because it's in the first place of decimal. And the numerator is simply just whatever is the decimal. So in this case here, it's five, whatever it's in the decimal here. And then what I can do now is I can convert this. This is now a mixed fraction. I can convert this into an improper fraction by simply multiplying in the whole number. So I can say two times 10 here. So two times 10 here is 20. And then I'm going to add the numerator. So two times 10 here is 20 plus five is 25 over 10. And this here is my is 2.5 in, in a fraction, which is great. And then what I want to do now is I want to convert 2.5 into a percent, right? So let me do that to the bottom part. So I've, I'm giving 2.5 now as a percent. I want to, I want to find 2.5 as a percent, right? So I'm going to multiply this by 100% for us to figure out what the percentage is. So again, 100 times 2.5. So you can say, you can kind of split this up. You can visualize this as simply just 2 times 100% plus 0.5 times 100 percent so 2 times 100 is 200 percent plus 0.5 times 100 percent simply just half of 100 percent so this is 50 percent which is going to equal 200 plus 50 here is 250 percent and this here is our solution for uh for for for, for the, and the, the yeah this is the answer to the to to the question here so 25 over 10 is in the fraction form and as you can see this is 25 over 10, which is great. And then 250% um, is the percentage form. And what, what they did was that they actually reduced this to lowest terms. So actually, I think I like that better. So let me reduce this to lowest terms for you. 25 over 10, what you can do is, if I were to reduce in lowest terms, I would, um, I would basically divide them by the greatest common factor. 25 and 10, the greatest common factor in this case is five is going to equal 25 divided by 5 here is 5 and 10 divided by 5 here is 2. So you get 5 over 2 here is the reduced form of the fraction and they got 5 over 2 as well which is actually really, really good and 250% is our percentage form of the given number. So the solution here is correct.